Hi and welcome guys, here is JNM with a new tutorial about Substance Painter and the Unity Lifelink. We start with a simple Unity project that just contains a light, a camera and some post-processing effects and import a hard surface model that I created with Blender. I extract the materials and I save them to a folder inside of my Unity project. Then I define that I want to calculate the normals and I press apply to import my model and now I can drag it into the scene. Ok, then I will rotate it a bit and start the game to see how it will look like without any textures. The model is UV unwrapped, so it is ready to be textured, for example with Substance Painter. Alright, the next thing that I will do is to download the Lifelink Substance Painter to Unity plugin. I added the link to the description below. And then I go back to Unity and import it as a custom package. Ok, and then I have to open Substance Painter, this is version 2017.4.2. And now I can go ahead in Unity and right click my imported mesh and select Send to Substance Painter. And as you can see something happens here to the mesh to the materials and then I switch to Substance Painter again and here is my model imported into an empty project. Great, it contains my three materials that I extracted which are represented in Substance Painter as so called texture sets. Ok, then I go ahead and bake all the textures as 2K except the ID map because we don't need this. And this baking process takes a while, I will speed up the video a bit. And once it is baked I adjust some settings here for the environment. And after that I start texturing. I have my main texture set selected. And then I drag a smart material like this blue painted steel into my layer stack. Alright, after a few adjustments for the curvature and the wheel level and the contrast, I switch back to Unity and as you can see, this material is applied to the model automatically. So why does this work? Well, it works because of this direct lifelink plugin that is shipped with Substance Painter 2017.4 by default. You can see it is green here in the toolbar, we are connected and we are connected to Unity. Alright, what else can we do? We could add some more materials, for example here for the second texture set, another steel material. And for this kind of tape object, I'm going to add this dirty rubber tire material. Really nice, now let's have a look on how this will come out in Unity. Ok. Not bad. Now let's see what is generated. Here we have the three materials with normal maps, metallic, albedo, roughness. And here are the generated textures in the sp underscore textures folder. Ok, but it isn't limited to smart materials, you can do any change you like. For example, add these bullet impacts, just stamp them in onto the model. And when you go back to Unity, you can directly see these modifications. So in my opinion, this is a great tool, a big time saver. And I really like it and if you like this channel and you find it useful, then please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and thanks for your support, perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon and I hope you come back soon to JNM.